Hello. Today we're doing Serbo. Uh, not necessarily a straightforward song. I'm going to try to keep this video short, but I'm also trying to find a balance between uh, keeping these videos accessible to people who are newer to guitar, but also not uh, dumbing it down too much for people who know their way around the guitar. So bear with me as I try to figure out how to balance that. Uh, so, the song is in A, and I'll show you the chords. That's a C, G again. Pretty sure that's what he's playing. He likes that chord. Kind of adds a little bulk to uh, the C's that he plays. He has usually pretty standard chord progressions, so... three fingers up, you're now doing a C, G. D, nothing special about that D. So you end on the A and then you start on the A again, and that's the chord progression. But you guys are probably here. Tasty look. So mostly you're gonna stay fifth and uh, fifth and seventh fret. You're gonna start on the fourth string, seventh fret. Back and forth between fifth and or seventh and fifth. I'm just gonna jump up one string. So now you're back on the third and fifth. So once you do the first part, that's the only kind of tricky part. Uh, so that's how I play it. I don't think that's how Anton actually plays it live. I should probably make that clear. I do, I slide back here before I get to this part. Um, I think it sounds good, I think it works. Um, I'll show you in a second how I think he plays it in a, a standard way, kind of a vanilla way because he also riffs on it a little bit. Um, but yeah, one more time of how I play it. That is the 8th fret. So everything is pretty much the same with the correct way, how I think he plays it except for that slide back. So I think what he's actually doing is so he's not sliding back. I usually do to get to the fifth fret sixth string. I slide back. I think he just goes straight from the fifth string fifth fret to the sixth string fifth fret. This is also where he starts to riff a little. So uh, it's in A again. The A pentatonic is. So when he he does he does a lot of different stuff. He plays. you can get there. Um, if you're newer to guitar, uh, it's it would be very helpful if you understood how that works in a, in a scale and how he's able to create different licks based off the scale. Um, 
in the studio version. I don't think he does it much in his live performances. He takes a lot of liberty and plays around with how he gets back to... Oops. Have fun with it. That's, that's a song. Um, it's simple on paper. You can make it as complicated as you want. Uh, yeah, I hope you have fun with it. Just remember... You know, every time I see there's a C in his song, I'm just going to assume that he's doing a CG, because so far, that's rung true. Uh, and it kind of makes sense with his sound. I don't know how to explain it, but the chords always feel a little more full, a little more shoegazy. <laughs> Servo. Uh, Going to Hell is next, and then I'm out of recommendations. So give me recommendations, I will do them. Uh, I'm putting out a lot of videos right now because i got a lot of free time for once, so keep those recommendations coming. Criticisms, corrections, call me done. Share, with, share your knowledge. It's a community effort. Um, yeah, that's all. Have a good one.